under some freedom of information requests, it's emerged that literally hundreds of children all over Britain who are, you know, are still at school are being questioned about by the police about it. And that's because sending uh, a, an obscene picture of yourself, a naked picture of yourself, is a criminal act, even mm. if you're under the age of consent. So, yes, it's illegal, but is questioning a child as young as six, because in some of these cases the children mm. have been at primary school, is that a good thing for the police to come in? And I feel uh, this is something that should be dealt with by the schools themselves. It shouldn't escalate to the level where police are involved mm. because, number one, all kids are doing it and then other kids are sharing these images. Yes, it might... Um, lay them wide open to online abuse or blackmail or, or whatever. But I do think it's something that the parents and schools together have got to work mm. on because once a child's ca cautioned, it's on their criminal record and that will affect them in later life. And that's life. a tragedy, yeah. actually. Yes. But you know what, I, though, I feel sorry for the school because imagine, worst case scenario, that a child has sent a photo of themselves, a naked photo of themselves, to another child. And imagine if that child that sent it is in some way being groomed or controlled by a paedophile. And then that other child sends photos back. We would all be up in arms. How did the school allow this? There was naked photos mm. going backwards and forwards. So I'm, I'm, I'm really torn on it. I don't, I don't see how a school can completely ignore it. It's illegal. You're not allowed to send naked I photos of yourself. I think it's something that's, you know, the fact that it's already out there, and I say we have talked about this on the show before, it's shocking to think that it's happening at the, at, the age of, at the age of six. I think in terms of, you know, yes, we can ask parents to talk about it with their teens. I've talked about it with my son. He's going to be 14 ne next month. So it's something that, you know, it's awkward, it's uncomfortable, but you have to have the conversation. But I think a lot of them think, oh, it's something that's against the law for other people. I think to, to stress to them that even if you are the one sending a a picture to someone, you're still breaking the law because it's an indecent image Ex of a child. Except if, but that needs to come, I think, by police visiting secondary schools and talking to and them. No, but if you work that, that what you've said through, if you work that through mm. to all the schools in Britain, I mean, the police are under stress anyway. They haven't got enough manpower to I do what they should Bobby do. I think one Bobby going to a school for one assembly is going to necessarily break down No, but down I mean, you're talking force. about one school. I mean, as you rightly say, it's happening all over mm. the country. And talking about the six-year-olds, I mean, I, I agree with Janet, it's wrong on any level. However, I do think at six, and there are those in the audience as old as I am, that when kids were young, they used to play like doctors and nurses and things like that. There's an innocence at that age. Yeah. And I don't honestly think that they're taking photographs of their private parts and thinking, ah, I'm sending a, a sexual photograph that's against the law. Yeah. And but I, how can the school decide? Because also, I they think have it's to a good teach point them. that innocence and, and a child showing their bits is just the innocence of a child. But say if it was slightly provocative, the picture, and it wouldn't be something that you would expect a six-year-old to do or to think, mm. that could be a signal that there's something going on but that you need to know about. Have sex lessons. They all have sex tuition. Surely this could be incorporated in with all of that. I mean, I agree with you that the parents and the school have got to sort mm. this out. The police just physically wouldn't have enough but manpower how to do what you know. Know. But we're it's talking about a crime because that's why crime. the police need to be involved, that's I think, what, that's in terms why of teachers, visiting teachers schools. Teachers are crime and parents teach it's I a think crime. Kids but we put to a policeman far a lot more than they would a teacher. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be a teacher deciding whether there was something a bit dodgy or whether it was just the innocence of a child. Do you teach, I can a, child, do you teach a child not to steal? Yeah. And not to do certain things, of course you do. And also, surely... But I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking no, about good parenting and an innocence no, of child. No, no, I'm but talking about what happens that. if there is an innocence and there is somebody, some paedophile that might be grooming that child. Mm. I know that's going to be really rare. I'm just saying I can understand the position of the school, not wanting to make an absolute decision that this is mm. all innocent and this but is all surely fine. The, 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 the way forward is for schools to, to teach categorically in, in lessons about sex and human behaviour as young as six. They have to say to kids, taking a picture of yourself with no clothes on is a really bad idea and here are all the reasons that I do believe a six-year-old can understand. And in other countries, like in the Baltic countries, they teach very detailed lessons about sex and reproduction as young as six and I can't see anything wrong mm -hmm. in that at all. I mean, the figures are shocking because uh, it, it appears that 760 uh, children were questioned by the police last year and that compares with 148 in 2012. Mm -hmm. So the number that are being questioned by 
Kerala police is escalating at a huge mm. rate. So this is a problem that every school has to deal with, but it has to start at infants and primary school, not mm. by the time they get to secondary school, because then it's almost too mm. late. And you were talking about a criminal record. I mean, I just checked the figures. 53 were charged recently, mm. and those 53 children will have a criminal record forever. So as soon, this has to be nipped in the bud in terms of how wrong it is, as you rightly say, from a very young age. Yeah, and yeah school... but even if you've done that and you've told them how wrong it is and then still, you know, a boy in a class sends to a girl a graphic picture of himself, mm. what is the school supposed to do? Have they just got to make the decision that that's innocent and it's all fine? Well, I think they're in the an unholy position. And mm. I think that child needs counselling, not a criminal record.